All right, we are now going to work on graphing a parabola. Well, we're given an equation such as this in standard quadratic form. The first thing that we need to do is complete the square so that we can convert it to being in vertex form. So if I'm working on this one right here, we have y equals, I pair together my first two parts of my equation. My a value is just 1, so I really don't have to factor out anything. So I'm setting myself up to complete the square. And I complete the square at the inside of the parentheses, so we have x squared minus 4x. We're adding half of negative 4 is negative 2, and that squared will be 4 minus 2. And we're going to subtract, because we're on the same side, 1 times my completed square. So we end up here with our perfect trinomial. This trinomial right here is going to be x minus half, well, x minus 2, which is half of my b squared, and negative 2 minus 4, that will give me minus 6. All right, it is now in vertex form, so we are going to create an xy table to help us out. All right, one of the first things that you should do to help set you up for your, x, for your xy table is to write down your axis of symmetry. My axis of symmetry is 2, negative 6. Axis of symmetry, what that essentially means is I can go one spot to the left and one spot to the right, and they should have the same y-coordinate. So if I were to plug 1 in, we have 1 minus 2, that will give us negative 1. Negative 1 squared is just 1, and 1 minus 6 will be negative 5. These will have the same y-coordinates. Alright, so if we go over now again, we have gone from the first vertex over 2 and over 2 in the other way, we'll have 4, and we'll also have 0. So let's plug in 0. 0 minus 2, that'll give us negative 2. Negative 2 squared is 4, and 4 minus 6, that'll give us a spot of negative 2. You can fill in some of the other spots, but if we start to plot this graph, let's use my black marker here. Let's plot our vertex first. So, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Here is approximately my vertex. We have a spot over at 1 and negative 5. Then we should have another 1 at 3 and negative 5. We have a spot at 0, negative 2. We have a spot at 4, negative 2. All right, the other spots that we have that I found without you guys we have a spot at negative 1, 3. We have another spot at 5, 3. So essentially all I need to do now is connect my dots. Creating a general parab parabolic form. Okay? All right, well, we're not done with here. We still need to estimate and find our x-intercepts. So we're estimating here, this is approximately what looks like to me maybe negative 0.7, and this to me approximately maybe 4.3, but we need to find the exact. So to find the exact, I'm going to use my vertex form here, or you can use your quadratic formula, and we're going to set that equal to zero because once again, we're looking for x-intercepts, my y value will be zero. So we have x minus 2 squared minus 6. I'm going to add 6 onto both sides. We have x minus 2 squared. I'm now going to take the square root of both sides. So the square root of 6, we have to have a plus or minus. It's equal to x minus 2. I'm going to add 2 onto both sides. So 2 plus or minus the square root of 6 equals your x. These are the exact values of your x-intercepts. All right, we are going to graph another function. So once again, I'm given my equation here in standard form. So I need to convert this to vertex form to help me more easily graph my function. So this one, I have an a of 2. So when I go to complete my square, I need to factor out the 2, my a term, from my first two terms, leaving me with x squared plus 10x. Now remember, we don't touch our c. I don't care about him, he's his own guy. Alright, so now 
inside my parentheses, and I complete my square. So, what do we do? Half of 10 is 5, 5 squared will be 25. Now, because my A value here was 2, I'm going to subtract 2 times my completed square. Once again, I'm subtracting because it's staying on the same side. All right, so now, this created a perfect square. So we take our x, half of our b, we have a square, positive 46, and what will be negative 50, that will create a minus 4. All right, so this just created our vertex, so let's create an x, y table. My vertex here will be negative 5, negative 4. So if we go 1 to the left and 1 to the right, so if we have a negative 6 and a negative 4, they should have the exact same coordinate for y. So let's plug in negative 4. Negative 4 plus 5 is 1. 1 squared is 1. 2 times 1 is 2, and 2 minus 4, that will give me negative 2. It should be the same for negative 6. I do want to point out that because of PEMDAS, you do inside the parentheses first, then your exponents, then you can multiply. Don't forget that. All right, so let's continue creating our xy table. So if I plug in negative 3 here, negative 3 plus 5, that will give me 2. 2 squared is 4. 2 times 4 is 8, and 8 minus 4 gives me 4. Once again, you can check these on your calculator if you'd like to do these by hand as well. I'm going to quickly fill in another one that you can verify on your own. For negative 2 and for negative 8, we will have y coordinates of 14. Alright, so I can now take my points and plot them on the graph. Starting with my vertex of negative 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, negative 4, all the way down here. So we have negative 4, we're also at negative 2. Alright, so for negative, ooh, negative 3, we are at positive 4. So now we're trying to go up. We'll also be over here. Alright, I didn't make enough room for the negative 8, but it's okay. And at negative 2, we're all the way up top somewhere up here. So now I can connect my dots. And the graph keeps going on. There's my parabola. All right, so now we got to find our x-intercepts, our solutions, our roots, our factors. Don't forget, they have a whole bunch of different names. So first, we're told us to estimate it. You can estimate it. My graph doesn't look too great about it. So this more so looks like negative 6.2. This one kind of looks like negative 3.5. But what I can do is I can take my vertex form and set it equal to 0. Once again, because if I'm looking for an x-intercept, my y-coordinate should be 0. Add 4 on both sides. Now, I'm going to divide everything by 2, meaning this x plus 5 squared is 2. I will take the square root of both sides, and that will give me a plus or minus radical 2. And the last thing, I will subtract 5. So we get that x is equal to negative 5 plus or minus radical 2.